Good morning. Here we have some sample raster data. And this is actually a bit of the national land cover data in a watershed. And we can uh, classify it as we wish. Right now it is classified in a single band pseudo color with a color ramp. And that's all we really need to do to show you how this works. But the we're going to talk about the, the new raster attribute table plugin, the RAT plugin. And it came out today, and it is really cool, and I think that it will be super useful in our landscape analysis as we go forward. Um, so what we're going to do here is go ahead and install that plugin. Very simple. Uh, the raster attribute plugin here. So I uh, already installed it before, but I uninstalled it to show you how easy it is to install. It uh, takes a couple seconds here. Um, Right now we're just at about 13 downloads. It's not exactly the most popular plugin we out there, but it's going to be, I'm sure. Also, just for your information, you're going to want to go to settings and click on show all so experimental plugins. Otherwise, you won't be able to find it. So now we look at what we have installed, the raster attribute plugin. It's uh, installed. We are good to go. So if we look at this raster, what you're going to want to do is right click on it and then you have open attribute table so one thing i did notice though was if you do have it in if you do have this as a single band gray it will not oh there it is <laughs> well never mind uh so let's go back to let's go back to a single band pseudo color and uh, right click on this go to open attribute table so this is the attribute table so now now we can utilize uh, raster data the same way that we more or less the same way that we use vector data we can add attributes we can change attributes um, we can classify by attributes so what we're going to do is here we're going to show you just how to add cla like an, another class so this is the first class the national land cover data class so what, what what if i want to add another class into this and then classify that uh classify the color scheme in that way so what i'm going to do is click you have to click on an attribute before you can actually edit anything so then you're going to go ahead and add another column you have a few usage uh, to op options here general purpose field histogram pixel count class name class value so we're going to stick with general purpose field we're going to stick with string but we can also have a floating point or an integer and then we're going to have to have a name so we should name it something that makes sense value to we're going to insert it after class and then so there we have that um value two so we can add we can classify this now through this here um so if we add like our values now it's uh all right so just adding arbitrary values and then if we classify that value classify yes and changes how that works out and then another another way another thing to look at here so now we have um no so we want to save that and close so we have a reclassified raster and we go up here to the plugins uh the manage layers this is a manage layer uh, we can unmanage it by unmanaging selected layers. But anyway, so now you can see here, uh, if you right click, open attribute table, we have our data here. And we can go ahead and reclassify that in terms of class. And then go back to the way it was. So I hope that was somewhat informative and you have a lot of fun figuring out ways to use this new plugin that will benefit mankind okay enjoy